Welcome to the Defense and Aerospace Report. I'm Vagam Radian at the Royal Norwegian Embassy in Upper Northwest Washington, D.C., where we have Oystein Bo, who is the Deputy Norwegian Defense Minister. Sir, thanks very much for joining us. You're welcome. Uh, obviously, today was a very big day with the uh, uh, Norwegian-American Defense Industry Council meeting. It was a full day, big Norwegian delegation here, obviously, for Navy League. I have a two-part question for you. First, you know, was, was today a big success from your standpoint at the, at the meeting, as well as the industrial presence at Navy League? Well, I believe the whole week has been a, been a great success. We have a Norwegian Defense Week here, and we have this yearly uh, Norwegian-American Defense Conference, which, which to, to, to my mind, was a big success. We had a great opportunity to do some uh, very uh, good interviews with uh, folks from NAMO, from Kongsberg, uh, as well. I want to ask you, what are you trying to accomplish here this week? Obviously, you're meeting with your U.S. counterparts in the Pentagon. What are some of the top priorities on your list? Well, you know, first I'm here to open a conference, and I'm here to support Norwegian defense industry, which I, which in my opinion, has a lot to offer to our American partners and allies. Uh, secondly, I'll be meeting with with uh, some officials. I'll be meeting Bob Burke tomorrow and having having conversation with him, my my uh, American colleague. What are some of the agenda items that are going to be on your list of things to discuss with them? Well, we will discuss the. Uh, the the the, uh, the development of NATO and and other issues, bilateral issues, and so on. One of the questions, obviously, now is, um, you know, the president of the United States has been uh, very vocal about criticism about NATO members who don't spend 2%. Obviously, the alliance adopted a goal to get to 2% by 2024, and Norway has been spending more money. How do you answer those who, you know, put that challenge to criticize member nations that aren't spending as much money? Well. All allies have signed on to the uh, to, to to the Wales Defence Investment Pledge, in, including Norway. So we fully support that. Uh, we have to we have to take care of what we do. We have uh, launched a, a new long term plan for our our, our defence, and we will be moving towards the two the two uh, percent guideline, and we will be investing well above twenty percent of that uh, budget. And uh, Norway is in the midst of a major modernization program, um, obviously with new submarines on the way, also the F-35, and I want to talk to you a little bit about both of those programs. F-35 is arriving in Norway uh, in November, if I'm correct, uh, which, is a, which is a big date. What are some of the things you guys are doing to prepare for the arrival uh, of the aircraft? We are reshaping and rebuilding our, a, a new main uh, air base that it will be uh, specially designed for the F-35s and will be will be uh, able to host the F-35s and, and, and they can operate out of there. And we're also preparing a ceremony for the first F-35s coming to Norwegian soil. One of the other key programs you have is a cooperative submarine, uh, cooperative program with Germany on new submarines. And we've talked to the German Navy chief about that. You and I were talking just a few moments ago and you said that that's a true model program. Why is it a model program from your perspective? That's a model because we enter into a cooperation with Germany as our strategic partner for a submarine cooperation in which Norway and Germany will actually buy identical submarines, which means there's a lot of synergy in maintenance, in, in operational efforts and in training. And this is the way I think in particular Europe has to look into how do we how do we uh, shape our, our, our defense equipment? How can we avoid having 19 different combat vehicle platforms? Are there any other programs you'd like to take a similar model to from a Norwegian perspective? What are the other big programs that you'd like to, stri uh, to structure in a similar fashion? Well, I believe the F-35 program is one example of this, that we have a partner, all the F-35 partner countries working together to, to achieve a, an exceptional airplane. And I believe also in, in, in other fields, we will be buying new P-8s, uh, maritime patrol aircraft. The British will be buying the same, same airplane, and of course the U.S. will have that. I believe there is merit in looking at the trilateral cooperation between our three countries on that issue. What are some of the program, cooperative programs you would like to see with the United States? I mean, obviously, Norway is, uh, has been a, a very prominent buyer of American military hardware. You mentioned the P-8s, you mentioned the F-35s. Um, the naval strike missile is by Kongsberg. Raytheon is trying to bring that to the American market. Very uh, competitive field, Lockheed going up against Lockheed as well as Boeing. What are some other systems you think, Norwegian systems that you think would have a particularly uh, useful to satisfying American requirements? Well, we also have other examples. One is the AMRAAM missile to which Norway 
a Norwegian company, Namo, is the sole, sole provider of the rocket motor. And I believe that in general, Norwegian defense industry has a lot to offer to our American uh, allies because we are small, we are agile, and we have a high technology uh, level that combine with the strength and, and the, the uh, magnitude of American corporations. You would put one in from our side, one in from the American side, and you won't get two, but you will get three. Uh, there are some who are concerned about some of the buy American, build American uh, rhetoric from the president. Obviously, he's very passionate about that. He wants to create jobs in the United States. As a close allied nation who's trying to you know, get more into this market, does that concern you at all? I believe we have to look into where can we get the most out of what we put in. How can we get the best equipment for our servicemen and women? And that, to my mind, is the most important thing. And let me take you to one last question. I mean, there are those who uh, are concerned, you know, uh, there is a lot of respect for Jim Mattis, the defense secretary, but there is a concern by some that President Trump is less than supportive about NATO. Is that a concern in Norway at all, or is there full belief that the United States remains as strong a member of NATO as it did in the past? We're hearing the Trump administration say they're fully behind NATO, and that is what we see. But, of course, the administration also says there needs to be a more... Uh, just burden sharing within NATO and we all have to work towards that end. Sir, thanks very much for all your time and hope you have a successful visit. Thank you. Thank you.